may we know who is Ibrahim uh, Mudukur P, please? أعوذ بالله السلام العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلاة وسلام على رسول الله الكريم وبعد I am Ibrahim Mudi Kurfi who is who was born at Kurfi precisely in 1958 fourth March 1958 I did my primary school there that's at Kurfi from there I got admission into Rimi College Kaduna, then it was called St. John's College, St. Christopher's College. Uh, from there, after our two-year uh, program, that's uh, from one, from two, then there was what you call the aptitude test. We did an aptitude test, and uh, we were transferred to Teachers College, that is to Manchok, Teachers College now in Kaduna State. We that was 1986-1976. After our completion of uh, one year, that is for three, we went for teaching practice. One year teaching practice. Went back to from four five. We graduated in 1980, uh, June 1980. After that. Uh, we uh, personally got uh, employment with then those in my local government education authority, and I was post posted to Kulfi Primary School. I taught there for only one year, during which I have applied to uh, some institutions, including this Hassan Wasumantana Polytechnic, Bayer University, and uh, Federal College of Education, likewise in Ahmad Bella University, Congo, to read a diploma. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, the first admission that came out out of these four institutions I have applied was Federal College of Education, uh, but not Kasna. I was uh, posted to Zingiru Federal College of Education, trade agriculture double major. Uh, God so made it that uh, before I went for registration, I my admission to Bayer University to go and read four-year degree program. Uh, so the four-term uh, degree program uh, came out. Therefore, I switched on to Bayer University Kano in 1981. We did uh, a pre-degree program for one year. Uh, that's uh, the four-term then, uh, 1980 to 1981. Uh, thereafter, we completed our program. Uh, that's the degree program for four years. Uh, in 1985, I went for service. 1986, I completed my service. And thereafter, I came and uh, I started uh, a kind of uh, uh, teaching at Federal College of Education, Kazuna, uh, teaching the pre ND, uh, pre degree uh, programs, uh, the remedial, sorry, remedial program. Uh, while I was there, I was called for an interview in this Hassan Musumakana that was in April 1987, uh, 1987. Uh, and uh, I got appointment just a month after, in 19, uh, May 1987. I have been here all this while. While within the period uh, after my first degree, I went for master's degree. Just like the admission, I started at uh, Bayer University, kind of with uh, MSc Political Science. Uh, luckily, uh, another admission came out for me at uh, Ahmad Bella University to read Masters in Public Administration, uh, which I find uh, aligned with the department I was uh, employed here. Uh, I did that, I completed the, the program in 1992. I came back, continued with this, uh, my teaching profession at this uh, institution. Uh, and uh, though I have delayed my going back for the degree, but uh, God so made it. In 2007, I applied for my PhD, and I completed in 2015. Up to this uh, moment, I have been teaching in this position, uh, and uh, within the period, somehow I held a number of positions, especially head of department, for almost 11 years. I was acting director in the College of Administration and Management Studies. 
for some years I was elected as director of college of administration and management studies. From there, uh, I was appointed as director of the Polytechnic in uh, 19, uh, sorry, in 2016, December 2016. And uh, I was to finish my term in December 20, uh, 2020. But uh, graciously, the Governor of Kansas State, His Excellency Right uh, Honorable Abel uh, Masari, saw it fit for me to renew the appointment, and uh, my appointment was renewed for another four years, which, inshallah, I hope, if alive, to complete in 2024, December, inshallah. When you took over Kadan Hassan Usman Kadan Polytechnic as director, which problem and challenges have you met? Yeah, when I took over, precisely, some of the uh, lingering issues when the former director left was the issue of uh, accreditation. There's a number of programs where they are uh, started as diploma programs, national diploma programs, but they have not graduated for uh, to come back for their higher national diploma, which is the highest uh, qualification, of course, when, you, when it matters to the polytechnic. So uh, this was the major problem. And uh, when I took over, uh, that was really what was in my mind. I tried to make sure that uh, the old programs, especially those at national diploma, were were accredited, accredited for higher national diploma. And uh, we did one in 2017, uh, accreditation, and uh, just of recent, I think, uh, February 2021, that's this year, we had another uh, resource verification accreditation uh, of five programs. And uh, even within the period, we had other programs for resource verification inspection. And uh, we have those for reaccreditation, which are even overdue. Especially when we go to management, most of the programs, we have 23 programs who are, which are almost overdue for reaccreditation. And we have applied to the MBTE, that's National Diploma for Technical Education, for all these programs. We did the other one, resource verification, now, resource inspection of uh, eight programs, which we even anticipated that they will come today, 17th, but because of their own uh, issues uh, at the MBTE, they could not come. Because I was there last week trying to find out whether they will be here with us or not, they called that the accreditation cannot take place. Uh, they, so they said they will come along with that of reaccreditation of 23 programs. So in short, in the next couple of uh, months, we'll have reaccreditation, uh, resource verific inspection, uh, verification and reaccreditation of almost 28, 28 programs. Pro hopefully, probably after Salah, we hope they will come and we are going to host over 100 resource persons from the MBT. So this is the uh, this the what well, the problem I met, and this is the effort I'm trying to make to make sure that all our programs that have started with the national diploma, they are now uh, 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 running higher national diploma programs like architectural technology. It has been there for years, or oh, more than 10 years, but there's no HND. They came for that. There is the issue uh, of uh, ma uh, not mass communication, library and information science themselves, they, they have been operating, but uh, no higher national diploma. Likewise, computer studies, they, are, they have been operating at any level, but there is no higher national diploma. Uh, likewise, agricultural technology, they have been operating at national diploma level, but there is no higher national diploma. Then a newly introduced uh, national diploma, which is banking and finance. This resource inspection were, were conducted last month, like I said, and we hope to receive a positive, inshallah, response. 
So with regard to these programs for HND, we hope we are going to even advertise before we commence our admission for these pro uh, four programs, including the National Diploma uh, for Banking and Finance. How many students do you have here in the Hassan Osman Polytechnic? And is there any problem for cultism, uh, exam, practice, indiscipline, and so on? Yeah, of course, these are some social educational problem problems, of course, which are, of course, uh, these problems are happening in almost all the institutions. Only that in Hassan Osman Kalman Polytechnic, we are experiencing traces especially of cultism. We are experiencing traces of them, but we are doing the best we can. The student affairs officer is there doing his best. Likewise, our uh, chief security officer is doing his best to see that they put heads together with the management and see that we do away with the issue of cultism. This is a culture which is probably known in the other part of the country, in other institutions. But for Hassan Kusuma Kakna Politikana, sincerely speaking, we have been experiencing a mild one, uh, and we have been taking the right measure to, uh, to, to stop that. Then the major problem is that of examination malpractice. This, we have been sustaining the students. Examination malpractice, malpractice is, 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 a, is a disturbing problem to not only Hassan Osman Kalman but even to all the institutions in this uh, country. Why? Because if students for involved themselves into examination malpractice, definitely the quality of when they go out, they cannot even practice what they have learned in the class. Why? Because they have not, they, they, they were not in the class, they have not read, they have not uh, uh, probably gone for the lectures. So the only option is for them to go and uh, come up with uh, 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 some uh, written documents in the, or even sometimes they use their pawns to uh, uh, snap uh, 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 notes and they go with it in the, in the class and the examination hall and they go from there. And uh, our, law, uh, our, our laws provide that any student who is found to be involved in examination practice is just outright arrestation. Uh, 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 like he will be sent out of the political for complete one year. He has to repeat the the the, the, the year. Uh, so it's better for even for them to even read, write, and fill the program, the, the the course unit, rather than repeating the whole program. But they don't. They cannot understand that. In fact, we have been doing that. Any time we are going to have the uh, uh, matriculation, we invite those who knows the process of examination. They tell them what, is, what they are supposed to do, but all in vain. We preach them in the, in, in the mosque, we, anywhere we find a place, even in the classroom, the lecturer do tell them that you shouldn't involve us in examination and practice, but all the same we find that uh, those who feel they cannot compare, so they will have to go for examination and practice. What are number of the students? The number of students, uh, as far as political is concerned, we have more than 5,000 students. And we hope uh, probably uh, with the next session to begin any time, uh, any time in probably May, June, uh, inshallah, the number will, uh, will increase. Inshallah. How far have you gone in digitalizing the uh, Education or the polytechnic, like or the experience we have been having during the COVID 19, students must, uh, all people must just sit at home, and then we had some high institutions have gone in uh, lecturing their students from, from home. Actual, from home. Mm -hmm. uh, the issue of digitalization, in fact, we are in the process of uh, preparing to go into this digitalization. Why? Because uh, now. Uh, the experience of this COVID-19, of course, forced institutions at uh, the education sector to come up with another method of teaching. Why? Because like what's happening uh, with us, uh, especially within uh, Katna State and some other states, you find that uh, if we do not come up with another method teaching from home, then education will, be, uh, will get into a coma. 
therefore, we have to find a, a means of teaching our students from home. While they are home, we are in, we are in our, in, in our uh, classes, we can teach them. We are in our offices, we can teach them. We are even the same at our homes, we can teach them. So we are making this preparation, inshallah, to see that we join the queue of those who have started. We are in the process, inshallah. What is your worry over the recent uh, episode of uh, three months, six months, nine months, because which our student is to go outside the country and get? Uh, this sharp, sharp degree in uh, which our students uh, probably go and uh, get. And you have any experience? Uh, no, no, not, not so much. We have uh, just uh, one, two, three cases, but uh, not, uh, not many. Uh, but we have the broad degree. Uh, but not from uh, not it's our lecturers, not our lecturers. Yes, yes. Uh, we we have we have that experience. But uh, in so far, it has been accredited by the Federal Ministry of Education. If it has been accredited by the Federal Ministry of Education, though I have heard that they, they are especially the NYC have put a, a circular or probably something that uh, they will never uh, tolerate those with a three months degree from other countries, especially because we don't operate in Nigeria. I know no Nigerian university operates a three month uh, degree program. It is done outside the country, and uh, I hope those who matter in education will, make, will, will see to it that it has stopped, even stopping the other countries or uh, uh, other students going. Even if they brought their degree, their certificates, it should not be recognized. Why? Because it's not worth recognizing. What, a, what a measure are you taking in not employing somebody with such quack degrees? Uh, how do you how do you employ somebody with uh, such a degree? Well, if he comes, he cannot be able to do the needful of him as a lecturer. Do you have any experience? Somebody brought uh, for job seeking a letter. I realize that. No, 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 no. Sincerely, we have. Like I, we have an interview with the VC of Umara Musai, which is a fellow student. A letter. He came back with a first class degree. <laughs> no, sincerely speaking, we have not. Uh, we have not received any. Uh, any candidate who brought his application mm -hmm. looking for a teaching job would let a uh, uh, three month uh, was it was it exactly. Okay. In the last, uh, uh, what, what is your vision or uh, hope and wishes before you finish your second tenure for the Polytechnic? Mm -hmm. Polytechnic? Yeah, really, uh, my major hope is to see that uh, this polytechnic introduced more programs as polytechnic institution, whereby our issue, our problem of unemployment can be reduced. Why? Because technical education, uh, polytechnic education is the only sector that can provide employ self-employment. If you undergo the polytechnic system uh, sure you you only it's only when one is lazy but there are so many ways through which one can be able to be to, to stand on himself why because the number of uh, businesses the number of uh, trades which he can be uh, uh, which can he can learn remember just over percent some NYSC uh, members were uh, we are honored by the president. One of them is a student here who did country surveying. He did country surveying in here and he did his service at uh, Binway State Polytechnic in a private polytechnic. If you see what he has, what he has done as a youth copper there, they even appreciated him. And that was the reason why he was uh, pinned as one of the uh, 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 to receive national honors by Mr. President, you see, six years after the graduation, uh, after after his NYC, but just uh, this year they were honored with that. Uh, uh, in fact, I appreciated what I saw, what he showed me. He has he, he did well there in in uh, in, in Benue State 
you know, political, a private political. They, uh, they honored him, they appreciated him, and they, uh, they did everything. So therefore, sincerely speaking, political education, I assure you, uh, so, f so far, the, uh, 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 the, the, the university education, because university education is only producing uh, uh, kind of a theo theoretical uh, kind of uh, graduates. But here is an issue of practicals. If you go to uh, the College of Science and Technology, you will see the, the, the practicals that have, been, uh, that have been produced by our students. You will appreciate it. You will appreciate it. So I'm sure uh, my ambition is still that more programs are introduced which are not being operated there in, in the political, which our students our uh, sons, our children, our grand grandchildren will benefit from even after our living. So this is my, and uh, to make sure that all the programs that have started at National Diploma level, they now start operating the higher National Diploma. With that, I assure you, our students, unless if one is lazy, they will find a means of sustaining Himself. How old is the institution? The institution started in 19, 1976 uh, with uh, uh, K cast. Then it was treated in Zaria. Uh, even the non academic staff of the Polytechnic were there. The chairman of government council they were there. The secretary of the government were there. The head of uh, the uh, uh, our uh, SA, Department of Education, were there. All of that matter were there. So very cordial with the government and uh, the host community. How, how are you taking care of the support of her from the lecturer and non academic and academic? Yeah. Uh, like I always say, staff, if you can allow them to go for, to further their, uh, their studies, you, you have no problem with them, especially the academic staff, even the non academic staff. So as far as that is concerned, we, we receive uh, especially assistance from uh, TED Fund and the state government. And uh, uh, what will even surprise you is that uh, most of our staff would want to go outside the country and uh, do their programs. Where little finances are allocated by the TED Fund, but as far as internal, within the country, studies within the country, we have uh, 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 balances, but people don't want to go for uh, for for studies within the country. They would want to go outside. So, in fact, really, well, that's one. Uh, secondly, in terms of uh, salary, we are not the one who are doing our own salary. Uh, it's the state government, and uh, you know, since the coming on board uh, of the state government in 2015, no month. Uh, which there was no salary. You know it. Uh, you, you know it. I am sure. You know it is better than, better than me. So as far as that is concerned, I am sure we, we don't have problem. We have a very uh, good understanding with the staff of the political with the state government and even host community. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. Thank you very much. So, yeah.